Hi, my name is Mrs. Kathy. This is K5Tunes.com, and I'm with Covina Valley Unified School District. Today we're going to be looking at the very beginning steps of the trombone. Now, the trombone is one of the largest instruments that we offer. In fact, it is the largest instrument that we offer in Covina Valley. And some of you might feel a little intimidated about it. The good news about the trombone is that it's actually lighter in weight than the saxophone, and you don't have any places that you have to put your fingers. That's not saying that you don't have to listen very well to the pitches that you need to be matching and also to understand about different positions that your, that your hand is going to be in. The very first thing we're going to do is look at the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece should be somewhere in your case. Sometimes it's under a flap in a very secret place where they might put a mouthpiece or they might put some valve or slide oil. And this particular mouthpiece is a little bit larger than the trumpet mouthpiece. Um, and so you want to make sure that you don't accidentally get that mixed up with a trumpet mouthpiece with one of your neighbors sitting next to you. Speaking of sitting, you probably notice how I'm sitting. I'm not sitting on the back of my chair like this. Instead, I've decided to go ahead and go in the front of my chair on the edge because that helps me to have my whole body sitting tall. And when we're playing an instrument, it's really important to have your whole body sitting tall because the air has to come from your body in order to produce a nice sound. We're gonna go ahead and start today by buzzing on the mouthpiece. And what I mean by buzzing is we're gonna be blowing air through the mouthpiece, but not just blowing air straight through. We're gonna also have our lips buzz or vibrate a little bit while we're blowing through the instrument mouthpiece. So here's how it sounds if I'm just blowing straight air through it. <sighs> Look at my lips. Now watch what happens and listen what happens when I'm buzzing a little bit. I'm going to lick my lips and then I'm going to buzz. So you can actually feel your lips buzzing inside. Now, that was at a pretty high or pretty fast rate of air going through my lips. Now what I want to do is relax my lips just slightly and have the air be just a little bit slower going through the mouthpiece. Listen to it. Did you notice that it was a different pitch than the first one? The first one was pretty high. about like that. So now what I want to do is put the instrument together. So I'm going to place the mouthpiece down while I'm putting the two other sections together of the instrument. I have the slide section. The slide section has a lock on it and you want to make sure that the lock is in place otherwise your slide could actually fall right off. I've had students who are putting their instrument together and all of a sudden the slide just falls right off. So there's a little locking mechanism up here. You just twist it, usually it's to the right as you're holding on to it, and you make sure that the locking mechanism has your instrument slide locked. Then you want to pick up the main body that has the bell and you're going to put the two pieces together. So you put, you have that sliding, uh, the locking mechanism over here then you have the longer end, that's the end that you put into the channel over here. And you want to put it in tight enough to where it's not going to come off and then you lock it up by rotating the slider on the other end. So now we have our instrument together. We have our instrument at a 90 degree angle right here. So if you look at it, you can almost form a half of a box turn the instrument around this way. Here's one section of the box and here would be the other section of the box. So you don't want to twist this so that it's way out like this and you don't want it to come all the way up against your bell. You want it to look like it's just about the half of a box. Then we're going to be placing the mouthpiece on the end of the other channel. Now our fingers, where we place our fingers and where we put it on our body is very important as well. What we want to do is we want to, we can rest 
that long end on our left side. You don't want to put it on your right side and you don't want the whole instrument twisted so that everything goes on your right shoulder. You want it to go on your left shoulder. Then your right hand is going to be attached to this little sliding bar. By the way, we'll talk more about it later, but if this slide mechanism is not working very properly, your teacher can help you get those slides working very properly. And then the left hand is going to be holding on to it, making sure that you're pinching it or holding it between your thumb and first finger. So you're going to be holding it here, placing your first finger here, wrapping your fingers somewhat loosely here, and this is the position that you're going to be looking at. Now once again, if you're trying to blow with sitting back like this, this isn't going to work very well and you want your arms to be slightly out so that you can make sure that you have a lot of air instead of squishing in like this. All right, next time we'll be looking at our first note on the trombone. I hope you enjoyed these beginning steps of learning how to play the trombone.